Hi everyone and welcome to a Booktubeathon day six. I genuinely can't believe that it's already day six because that means we only have tomorrow left and that means I have to complete two books in the next two days in order to complete seven books in the whole week which is my main goal. Currently right now it is like 12 15 and I had a late start to this morning because I had some struggles trying to upload my day five vlog and I was not happy. Like I said in yesterday's vlog I fell asleep last night. I was super super tired and I just decided to wake up this morning and edit the whole vlog this morning and it wasn't a very long vlog because I didn't do much yesterday so it didn't take me long to edit but I was in a rush so I ended up exporting and uploading the video completely which takes a really long time for my computer because my computer's a bit older and it's just really really slow when it comes to exporting and uploading like this seven minute video took 25 minutes to upload but I exported it uploaded it and then I always watch it back right before I make the video public and I realized that I forgot to add music into the vlog and I was so mad so then I had to go back and add the music into the vlog, re-export it, and then as I was uploading it, it was like 23 minutes, it was gonna upload in 23 minutes, it was gonna be fine, and then I look away for like two seconds to check my phone, and all of a sudden it says the upload time is 37 minutes, and I have no idea how that happened or why that happened, but I was ready to scream. But it's fine, it doesn't matter anymore, the video is now uploaded, I went and took a shower in between that time to just like chill because I was really really angry at my laptop. <laughs> but the irritating morning aside, I'm in a very good mood today and I'm really ready to read, but I'm also hanging out with my friends today So that should be a lot of fun We're actually gonna go and get some poke again like we had earlier this week if you watched my day two vlog I think but I'm like trash for poke So we're gonna just go get it again because I'm really craving it And then we're gonna hang out and just play games and just talk for a little while So I'll take you guys along with me while we do that and yeah, it's gonna be a fun day Like I said in yesterday's vlog my plan today was to go to the beach and complete the read an entire book outside challenge but the sky is really cloudy and it's very cold and the high is like 59 degrees today and I really don't want to go next to the windy beach and freeze to death So I'm not gonna do that today Hopefully tomorrow it'll be a bit sunnier and I can go outside tomorrow and finish the book then so that'll be my goal Hopefully, but if it's cold again, it's okay I really don't care about completing that challenge that much But that is it for my plans for the day So I will come back and give you guys an update once I'm with my friends and we're doing some more things <laughs> We should just film a video like this. Like this? Yeah, yeah the whole time. Hi, everyone. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> what happened? Stop. Do not. Becky's gonna start laughing. Again. I'm oh not. My God. Yeah, you are. Okay, so I am at Malcolm's house, who you saw in my day two vlog, and I'm here with all of my other friends. My arm is too short. It's like they're barely in frame. We're all hanging out here right now, and we just got some poke, which was really good. And now mm. we're gonna play Dream Daddy, and I'm really excited. Best game. Does someone want to explain what Dream Daddy is? Um, it's a, a dad, dad dating, dating simulator. simulator. And it's Hannah and my, it's our first time ever playing it. Yeah. These two have played it before. It's um, amazing. So we're gonna play Dream Daddy and have a good time. I'll show you guys some of the dads that we end up dating. It's the best game ever, buy it on Steam. It's four ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. sorry. Not sponsored. But it's like really good. It's, oh, sponsored! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. I <laughs> Look at our dad. His name is Raphael. And this is our love child. Oh, daddy. Stop. <laughs> this is our love child because, wait, we're too zoomed in our face. Because we have not played this game before, so Raphael is our love child. Look at him. Look yes, how Rocky. Look how handsome he is. He has a cat shirt. Hi, fatty. Hi. We're purring now. This is fatty. This is Malcolm's cat. She's beautiful, and I love her, and she likes sitting on my lap. And we're still currently dating dads, <laughs> if you were wondering. Hey everyone, so it is much, much later. It is like 6.30, no, 7 p.m. right now. I just got back home from hanging out with my friends, and I had a really, really good time. As you saw, we were playing Dream Daddy, and it was such a fun game. It's basically like this simulator where you play as a dad who gets to date other dads, and it's so entertaining. And my friends and I romanced Hugo, and it was a great time. I had a lot of fun. But clearly, I didn't get very much reading done because we just basically played 
Big Dream Daddy the entire time. But now that I'm back home, I'm definitely going to sit down and just read as much as I possibly can for the rest of the night. But first, I have to complete today's video challenge. I said in yesterday's video that I was gonna try and do yesterday's challenge and today's challenge, both in today's vlog, but I don't think I'm gonna do yesterday's challenge. I'm just going to accept that I didn't finish it yesterday. But today's challenge was given to us by Lala from Books and Lala. And basically what you have to do is spell your name using book titles. So you have two minutes to find books on your shelves and use them to spell your name. And my name is not that hard since it only has three letters and they're just repeated. So it's not gonna be that difficult for me, but I feel like the minute I look at my bookshelves, I'm gonna forget every single book title. Like I can't think of one that starts with an H right now. So I have two minutes on my timer and I'm going to set it and try and spell out my name and we'll see how this goes. And we're starting now. Okay, H, H, H. Oh, what's up with H? Hunted. A, 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 A. Come on, there has to be something with an A. Oh, it's just the dust jacket. Oh well. A, N, number nine. Um, um, N, N. I don't have anything over do I? No. Um, come on, come on, come on. I need another N. I need another N. I need another N. Um, okay, another H. Another H. Oh, history. Um, oh, now I'm dropping things. Okay. Um, I'm checking my head left. Oh no, 52 seconds. Um, A, I am called Ove. I need another N. Oh, another N. Yes, yeah, it's Okay. All right, 40 seconds left on the timer. All right, and here we have it, my name in book titles. I have History is All You Left Me for H, and then All the Light We Cannot See, but it's just the dust jacket, so it's flimsy, for A, and then Nevernight for N, Nemesis for another N, A Man Called O for A, and Hunted for the last H. I did it and I had 40 seconds to spare. So that was a super fun and easy challenge and I'm glad that I succeeded. But like I said, now I'm just going to sit down. I'm probably gonna get something to eat and then I'm gonna sit down and just do some more reading for the night. So I will update you guys as my reading progresses. Bo, it's time for your daily appearance in my vlog. Why are you grumpy looking? Why are you so grumpy looking? Oh, all right then. So it is about an hour later and currently I am sitting on my bed and I ate some dinner and now I'm eating some spicy sriracha lentil chips which are very good and I am doing that while I am watching some booktubeathon um, entries for the dress up challenge since I have to pick some of the winners so that's what I'm doing right now also all of the entries are literally so good it's making it so hard for me to just pick three like I want everyone to win because you just all are so creative and they're just so much fun to watch also by the way if I sound sniffly it's because these chips are like super spicy and they always make my nose water but once I finish watching a few more of these videos I am going to sit down and definitely begin reading some more because I made a little bit more progress into History is All You Left Me this morning. So I definitely think I can finish it because I think I only have like 70 pages or so left, which is totally manageable for the night. But I will come back and update you guys once I have accomplished some more reading. Am I wearing snowman pants in July, you ask? Why, yes. Yes, I am. history is all you left me and it was really really good it was a really sad book like it was super devastating because it's about a boy named griffin who has lost the love of his life his ex-boyfriend in a drowning accident and then he has to deal with that grief and it's really sad but it was really really good and now i don't know what to do with myself i gave it four out of five stars i really liked it and now i just don't know what to do with myself because I have all these emotions and I don't know what to do with them. But I finished a book today, so I'm very happy with that. I'm actually still super motivated to read right now and I kind of just want to pick up another book, but I also have to edit this vlog footage, so I have to make a decision. But I am also pretty tired, so I think I'm probably just going to end up editing some of my footage so I can go to sleep at least somewhat early enough. So I'm currently on track with the book Tubathon. I have completed a total of six books now, right? Is that right? History is All You Left Me, No Matter the Wreckage, The Two Avatar comics, 
Eliza and Her Monsters, and We Are Okay. So that is six books. I have completed six books, so I am on track. So yeah, I just need to complete a book tomorrow, and I will have completed seven books this week, which was my main goal, so I'm very, very happy with that. But tomorrow, I also want to try and complete the Read an Entire Book Outside Challenge, so I think I'm going to try and go to the beach if it's warm enough. But I'm super pleased with my reading so far, and if I complete a book tomorrow, I will definitely be very, very happy with that. Tomorrow also means it's my very last day of vlogging, which I'm kind of sad about because I've had a really fun time with all this vlogging, but I'm also pretty relieved because it's a lot of work to do daily vlogs. I don't know how people do this all the time, but it's been a really great time because I feel like in vlogs you really get to see more of a person's personality than in just like typical videos, so they're really really fun for me to watch in general, but they're also really fun to make. And I'm also so glad that so many of you are enjoying them as much as I am. But you should let me know in the comments down below if you're participating in the Booktubeathon, if you completed any books today, or if you are on track with your reading challenges and goals and everything. But I'm getting very very sleepy now, so I think it's time for me to go. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're all having a fantastic Booktubeathon, and I will see you tomorrow for my very last vlog. Good night. Thank you.